on the trail radio here and i've been getting sent quite a few personal messages on tiktok and instagram mostly about how repeater offsets work using the uv 5g i will actually go ahead and explain some of that so whenever you have anything between the 400 on this range, it's always going to be a plus 5 on your offset. So in other terms, you are going to want a frequency direction of positive and an offset of 5. That way, whenever you transmit, this would be transmitting at 450, this would be transmitting at 425. This trend also follows if you're using GMRS repeaters. So it would be transmitting at 467.550, which is how you would access multiple repeaters. If you have some amateur frequencies, such as the ones shown here, then you would want to go to your offset and drift it down to a negative offset and you would change the offset from 5 to 0.6 megahertz that way when it retransmit it will drop it down by 0.6 megahertz or if you go higher up in megahertz then more likely it's going to be still a 0.6 offset but you're going to want to change that frequency direction back to positive so it jumps up a little bit as it gets closer to the 148 limit. Something that you're going to want to remember to look for to also access these repeaters is the receive and transmit tone. Now the receive tone is not actually as important as if you just leave it open, you can still hear it. But if you go to your transmit tone, Make sure that you have a transmit tone that actually works with it. Usually in amateur repeaters, the transmit tone would generally be 123. That is generally what the most consistent tone is. And of course, you could always uh, look it up online if they do have a different tone. GMRS is more prone to having multiple tones since it's a little bit more accessible. But there you go. That's about everything you need to do in under three minutes.